And welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV. Tataru has a mission for you. Alfred? I am an intrigued as you, Tick Man. Shall we hear what news Tataru has brought us? Yes, we shall. A general summons. Haha, <laughs> I like that play on words. Level 54 belt. We don't need them. Tataru has news for you from Oda. General Rubian says they may have uncovered the Suetonia's whereabouts. And he wants you, by which I mean both of you, to go to the Walking Sands right away and help with the investigation. Come, Tickman, pressing British Guard's plight, maybe our presence here will not serve to hasten the manufacturer's or mana cutter's completion. Let us return to the troubled lands of Thalan and lend what aid we may. Tetsuru, have our friends at the Congression send a message to Insta. Tell him we have identified a solution to our problem, but that it would take some time to prepare. As you wish, Master Alpha. To the walking sands were of light. This past time Oda was delivered from this darkness. So to the Walking Sands we go. All right. That man was a traitor who was talking to the mask. But hopefully we don't have another traitor on our hand. Hopefully. Ooh, we can fly too. Which means this bird can go fast. Look at him go. Even air. Going so fast, he's leaving like an airstream behind him. That's what I'm talking about. All these people fight. It's not a people on. And walking sands, boom. Flew through the door like a boss on a boat. Got what's in here? Thank you for coming. No thanks are necessary, General. I trust your recuperation continues apace. I cannot complain. Thanks to Higiri and her ministrations, I've regained much of the strength I lost during my imprisonment. I gather you have made progress in the search for Her Grace. Aye, some good fortune at last. A few days past, Dulala informed us that a sizable shipment of alchemical supplies had been delivered to the palace. With Papa Shan's assistance, I set out to ascertain the source and nature of the shipment. My inquiries led me to Frondale's frontistry. There, I learned that an order had been placed for a curious substance designed to sustain patients trapped in death-like slumber. An invention of the former head alchemist, apparently. A death-like slumber? This cannot be a coincidence. It lends some weight to Dulala's claims, aye. Her grace is likely somewhere within the palace, a bed but alive. Before making any attempt to extricate the Sultana, however, it seemed prudent to learn what manner of substance was used to induce her torpor. To that end, I made inquiries as to the whereabouts of the one most like to have administered it. The lady in waiting, Meriel. We sent for you as soon as we learned of her location. All that remains is to apprehend the woman.
We shall find our cat's paw in the Silver Bazaar. But we must tread carefully. The market is not the bustling place it once was, and someone is sure to mark our coming. Should they inform the monetarists, we'll have a fight on our hands. We must be prepared for the worst, and being short an arm, I thought it wise to take another in its stead. What say you, warrior of light? Will you lend me yours? Oh yeah. Then I pity the bastard that stands in our way. Come, my friend. For Nanamo and for Ulda! Speak with you, bro. She's right in front of me. All right. No map needed. If one had chosen to entrap the Satinia in a death-like sleep rather than slay her, then one would surely also know a means to rouse her from said state. There must be an antidote to this poison. Our target is Muriel. Satanus, Satanus, former lady in waiting, woman of Midlander heritage. I am told the two of you have met. Our sources indicate she left the palace shortly after the incident and quietly rejoined the dwindling population of the Silver Bazaar. I suggest we begin by questioning the market's residents and confirm that Morel is still in hiding there. All right, so we're questioning the markets. Where are we headed? Go way over there. Where's a quick place? I guess the horizon. We'll just leave up out of here and just go. Uh, entrance to the solar? No. Exit the best for pay. Yes. Let me out of here. Now, there is a boat ferry docks right here. Let's go on the ferry. Ferry tickets, Limoloso. No. Do not want to go to Limoloso, or do I? I want to go down here. Silver Bazaar docks. You know what? I'm just gonna fly. Come on, Bert. We're going. Try to do it the right way. And but ain't nobody got time for that. Rising's edge. Fly no higher. Pairs, the removal. You gotta capture or talk to people down here. This little area. Start with people on the docks. Uh, Danielle. Now, uh, Mary, ah, she's here. Left the city for good, she says. Bear leaves her house, though. Oh, huh. is this the one closest to the market's entrance? Alright, so we know where she's at. Doesn't leave her house. But we still need to talk to other people. Why? I know not. Kakai Payu. Greetings, sick man. What can I do for the Silver Bazaar's favorite adventure? Looking for Murrow, you say? If you're hoping to lure her back to Uda, may as well give up now. The girl's done with city life. 
she should be after what she did. Spotted Meadow. It's a big boy. Do I know of any returning residents? Gods, don't tell me they're starting to come back. My masters will not be pleased to hear this. One closest to the docks, right? Should be this one. Maybe not this one. Maybe it's this one. Okay, maybe it's not this one. And it's got to be this one. Has to be. Bam. This is the first choice right here. You are Meriel, the Sultana's former lady-in-waiting? I know no one of that name. Pray excuse me. Lies. General Alden! Let's try this again. We will have the truth from you, girl. Mayhap, it would be better coming from me. Lonorito, you'd best talk fast. As you know, Telegi Adelegi's Cartano Reclamation Bill was no more than a facade. A means to get his grubby little hands on that elegant monstrosity, Omega. When he learned of Nanimo's intention to abdicate, however, he was forced to amend his plans. Suddenly, assassination seemed the most promising way to further his ambitions. I am told Teleji had discovered a maid in whose veins ran the blood of House Thorn. A new, more pliable puppet to sit the throne. Twould have caused an uproar, of course, but few could have contested her claim. Twas plain that Teleji's wild machinations had outgrown our ability to control them. So I decided to usurp his scheme and left the fool to seal his own demise. And what of Nanamo? Oh, I have no desire to harm her grace. Twould profit me little to destabilize our government. Thus did I employ young Mariel here to administer a potent sleeping potion in place of a poison. You should know, General, that your dear friend Ilbert was fully aware of my plan. I had him lie about the assassination as a means to prime your rage against Teleji. We weren't 
entirely sure how you would react, but things went rather better than expected. You conniving little worm! You had your claws in the Crystal Braves before their first recruit had sworn to serve! But of course! When a new game begins, tis only prudent to have a piece on the board. Illbird was mine. Truth be told, a significant proportion of the Brave's initial endowment was also mine. With such large sums moving about, twas a rather trifling matter to disguise my own contribution. Ah, Ilbert. <laughs> I secured his services with a promise to support his cause once my authority had been solidified. I swear, the man thinks of naught but prizing Alamigo from the grasp of the Empire. Unlike you, General, the poor fellow seems quite unable to forsake the land of his forefathers. Mayhap, that's why he called you a traitor to your people and a disgrace to your homeland, amongst other things. What was it he always compared you to? Uh, oh, yes, an overgrown lapdog begging for scraps at the Sultana's table. <laughs> oh, how we laughed. Alas, Ilbird's entertaining little outbursts eventually gave way to wearisome tirades, and the zealous brute became rather unruly. I had no wish to see you executed, you understand, but he would not take no for an answer. Rest assured, his employment with me has long since ended. Which brings us neatly to the present. What say you, General? Both you and the Sultana are alive. We have one corpse and one fugitive. And preparations have been made to restore your good name. Shall we cry quits and start again with a blank ledger? Hmm? The hells we will! Do you honestly expect me to forgive and forget? After all you've done! You're guilty of high treason! Stay your blade, Master Alden. You yourself are not innocent. Or have you forgotten your own crime in executing Teleggi Adeleggi without trial? Though you acted out of loyalty to the Sultana, such deeds are in violation of both the word and spirit of the law. Got him. If you would, Lord Lollarito? This potion will wake the Sultana from her slumber. Consider it a gesture of conciliation. You will find her grace resting comfortably within her private chambers. Should you doubt my word, I shall willingly accompany you to the palace as your hostage. I like not your motives, Lollarito, but you saved the Sultana's life, and for that, you have my gratitude. Rauban Aldin. You are hereby reinstated as General of the Immortal Flames. The citizens of Uldar shall once more be united under Nanamo Ulnamo. 
and together we shall usher in a new age of prosperity. Speechless. Just speechless. What a tangled web they have weaved. All right, Alfred. You had killed the one you served. Ah, uh, pray excuse my mutterings. I was reminded of a lie from an old poem. By the 12, I feared Lord, Lor Lord Lorito's arrival would herald another bloodbath. Little did I suspect that he of all people would gift us, gift us the means to rouse Satomia. And that's it. General summons is done. We will take none of these belts, because we don't need them. Take the silver piece. And boom, that's it. So... Thanks for joining me. My name's Tick, and come on back tomorrow, which we do the mystery quests. No spoilers.